So we have ourselves a movie with one of the best wrestlers in the world starring in it. You mean CM Punk? Oh my God. Oh my God. CM Punk. He is so awesome. After you showed me that pipe bomb um, promo, that was so cool. And third girl on the third floor. I bet you that's going to be the most awesome sauce of all movies. I cannot wait. <gasps> is this a reaction to trailers? So you're going to show me the trailer of Girl on the Third Floor with CM Punk? Oh my God, yes. I'm so stoked. I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. And the fact that you are just sitting there with no reaction is making me just a little bit nervous. It's, it's actually John Cena. Oh, f me. We're doing Playing With Fire. But he has a sweet side. What a rush. Were you serious when you said we are reviewing John Cena playing with fire? I mean, they know what they're they know what they clicked on. They, they know what they clicked on. There's only one reason to see this movie. Just one. Just one, just one little bit of reason. To see this movie. Keegan Michael Key. Everything else can eat the most finest of dicks. This movie is a piece of shit. Yep. I I even by kids' movie standards. Yeah. Cause... This movie is a piece. Of, okay, so. Yeah, even the kids in the movie theater were not... They hated this. They, yeah. They, they absolutely hated it. They this. weren't even captured by the, this. The only time that there was a positive reaction was when Keegan-Michael Key was doing one of his gags. That was it. That was it. He stole the show and... Okay, so there's a running gag going on uh, mm -hmm. throughout this whole movie uh, where My Little Pony is, you know, referenced ad nauseum. Yeah. Just constantly referenced in this movie. And while I do know that Playing With Fire, featuring John Cena and Keegan-Michael Key and John Leguizamo, and who was, who was, who was the girl, that, uh, woman that you were like? Uh, Judy Greer. Judy Greer, yeah. yeah. You, you My girl. That, that her name was uh, attached to this. Yeah. Despite all of that, you know, you know, they, they keep on referencing My Little Pony, and we, yes, we know that it is a kid's movie, uh, so we have to kind of temper our expectations, but you're constantly referencing a kid's show slash movie slash series slash whatever the hell you want to call it that doesn't insult the intelligence of their viewers. Yeah. Like they, they like that show, that show, that movie that came out with it with Tay Diggs doesn't insult the intelligence of, and my phones keep going off. I'm sorry. I'm, Professional. I, I, I'm noticing that. And like, Yay. like, like I'm, I'm noticing that. I'm pretty sure the buzz is gonna pick up, and I'm just like, okay, you know what? Let me, let me just go ahead and take care of that. Um, it doesn't insult the intelligence of its viewers. It, it, it presents a show that is comedic, that is fun, that is still for the right ages to the point where that there's actually there was actually like a contingency of dudes uh, who fell in love with this show. Yeah. Because it reminded them of the Powerpuff Girls, another kids show that didn't insult the intelligence of their viewers. Yeah. And like we we've get a lot of these shows where it's okay to have high standards for kids content. And then we get a movie like Playing with Fire, which is the absolute worst. Or the epitome of all of that. All of the bad things. Like yeah. like the tropes that we've seen when we were kids that just were this is bad. This is bad. Yeah. This is just straight up bad. I don't know why John Cena is attached to this at all. 
or Keegan Michael Key. I, I mean, like, here's the thing: without Keegan Michael Key, I don't think that this movie would be non-existent. Get, yeah, it wouldn't would, would, would exist. And John Cena is like John Cena has charisma. He's he's, he's a great actor. Yeah, but uh, in this movie, he was exactly just that, John Cena. No, like like even then, you could have put anybody in his spot, and nothing would have changed in this movie. Maybe The not Rock might have worked. No, not even him. The way really? that they the way that they wrote this character is just like there's no fun, there's no charisma, and I, I like I get that that's the point. Yeah, but you literally handcuffed. One of the most charismatic uh, uh, performers to be so strictly unfunny yeah. and uncool for whatever reason. For whatever reason, yeah. Like, I and, agree. and it's not like I you agree. can't write a good stiff character. You can, and you can still make it funny. Hence, Brooklyn Nine Nine, the Lieutenant. Oh, a yeah. stiff character, Captain Holt. Yes, that's a stiff Captain character Holt. that works. But he's funny. He's a stiff character, but he's still funny. You could have done that with John Cena. Oh my goodness! Like if, if they, if they no, wrote like, his character just, like Captain Holt, that would have been funny. It would have been hilarious. That actually would have been pretty funny. And I really would have been engaged with this movie. Not only that, it would have played well with Ke- Keegan Michael Key's mm-hmm. comedic character that he already is oh naturally. God. Oh my god! With his impromptu comedy, it would have been fantastic. It would have been great. It would have been great. Another problem with this movie is the way that it, the way that it works with its comedy. I see you checking your phone. I'm sorry, because <laughs> like, I, I don't give a shit about this. Right, we just run through this because I don't give a fuck about this. Uh, one of the other problems is like they they have some comedic set pieces that actually are kind of funny. Like, but like I just think one they of the missed opportunities. With they, they, it. they did. They did. Like one of the one of the one of the biggest indications of that is like in the very beginning. Uh, they have a situation where, like, they're fighting a fire. They're, 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 they're uh, what do they call themselves? Smoke jumpers? Yeah. They're smoke jumpers. Yeah. They're smoke jumpers. And John Cena's, you know, saving a bunch of cars that are, you know, stopped and stalled in the middle of this forest fire. Yeah. And one of the women out there um, is like, oh, man, like, you know, you're big and you're buff. And he's like, you know, just gushing over him. It's like, yeah. My husband is an accountant. As he's getting lifted away, and it's like, okay. Well, no, she goes, well, my husband is an accountant. Take, take me, me with, with you. you. And I was like, okay, that's actually kind of funny. That was actually kind of funny. That was actually kind of funny. And they cut away to, you know, her as he's being, as seen as being lifted away in the chopper. They cut away to her, and right next to her is her husband. And that, you know, it's pretty decent comedic timing. And then they continued it. Yeah. And then they had him go, it's like, I'm standing right here. And you ruined it. Yeah, and it was just you like you ruined it. Oh, y'all, y'all could have just let the subtext anymore. just stay there where it is. Yeah, you could have. You didn't even have that to say anything. You could have just, you could have just had him like, yeah, just left it like that. Yeah, not a single word, no more. But like, it's it's one. This movie just continues to drive what would be funny jokes into the dirt. Yeah, they did. There's a baby pooping scene. There's a baby pooping. I mean, that was unnecessary. There's a baby pooping scene that lasted seven minutes. Yeah. And again, in the beginning, it was funny. Keegan, Michael Key did what he did. Mm -hmm. John Cena tried to play off that. And then, of course, they take it way too far. And it's just like, oh, my God. Even when you were referencing, like, the little pony, I just think they missed so many opportunities. They with missed that. a lot of opportunities. A with that. lot of opportunities. And it's like with why? That. Why even bring it up? Like why even have yeah. that there? Because you're really just going, hey, let's let's talk about a property that's way better than ours right now. Yeah. And let's let's treat it like, oh man, it's so funny because it's so girly. But it's like, y'all, y'all, you y'all, 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 y'all don't get with to, that. Y'all don't get to 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 talk about MLP like that when y'all are playing with fire. Yeah. Y'all don't get to. Like, you could have kept that, but you could have done more with it. That's, uh, yeah. it's, th- this is bad. Yeah. Like, even John Leguizamo couldn't save this. He couldn't. He and couldn't he, save this. And he's a good comedian. Oh, yeah. That pissed me off even more. I was like, I'm pretty much about done with this movie. It's like, like the, the cast for this, like, the top three people in this, even Judy Greer, like, give, them, give me the four of these I, people yeah. in, a, in a better movie. This would be funny as hell. It would be. This is shit. Also, I don't oh, give a shit about the kids. Here we go. They got the kids in here. You got a teenager who's all like, you know, who's a little a, who's, shit. Who's a little shit. Yeah, she's a little she's shit. She's a little snarky little shit. 
But at least it makes sense because she's a teen and, you know, she's rebelling against authority. You, you can make sense of that. Mm. You've seen it before. You can make sense of that. Again. The baby is the baby. Yeah, again, you're playing a storyline that has been done before yeah. Yeah, over have. and over again. So, no. Anyway, you got the baby who's acting like a baby. It's just a baby. It's just, she's just a baby. But then you got the middle fucking child. And I fucking hate this <gasps> hell you. That, no, this kid is a piece of shit. I hate this kid. I hate this kid. Is he that going down on site when you see him? No, because I, I, fuck on site. Somebody needs to just like kick him across, a, just, kick, just kick him across the field. Fuck this kid. Or like Alan McBeal, just kick the baby. Kick the in baby. In the elevator. Kick the baby like, in the fucking the elevator. Kick the baby, kick the baby. And she actually kicks the baby. That's what you want to do with this child? Yes, fuck that this kid. That is not very nice, D. I don't give a shit. Fuck this kid. That is not very nice. Oh my God, like... <laughs> You you will hate this fucking kid. You will hate this kid. You hate all the kids. You will the hate this kid. Like I mean, again, like I can I can understand nope. the teen's position. No, nope. I hate not it good. all except for the baby. It's not good, but I can understand it, so I'm not annoyed by it. Mm -mm. Fuck this nine year old piece of shit. I hate this kid. Fuck, let's just let's just run our asses on to the score because I hate this fucking movie. This is just. <laughs> It, it one star and I'm done. The only thing keeping it from a zero, because this is a fucking zero. Yep. Only thing keeping it from a zero is Keegan Michael Key. Yep, which is why that's it's one star. The only person that's keeping it from a zero because he got some genuine fucking laughs from me. Yeah. Like yeah. I was dying laughing whenever he was on screen. Because but the problem is he wasn't always on, on screen. screen. Yeah, and when he wasn't. The movie was completely a piece bleh. of shit. Like this like Dracula, blah blah blah, blah. That's like, what blah, it was. Blah. Like no, this this is a piece of shit. Yeah. Don't go see this, dude. Like even if you're kid, like I don't I don't know any kids that were like, yes, let's go see this movie. Like, I don't either. And it, 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 it again, that's another thing that infuriated because it's John Cena. It's people. John Cena. John Cena. This even the kids decent. that were in the movie theater were going back and forth out of the movie because. They, they were, were bored. Ripping and running across the fucking aisle. They were bored. Because they were bored of this fucking movie. They this were is a bored. boring fucking movie. And I was and like, wow. I would have thought. It's really bad. It, yeah. It's, it's really, really bad. Yeah. Because, like, here's the thing. This is a, this is, first of all, this is a bad time for this movie. This is a really bad time for this movie because as we go into the theater, there's no other kids' movie. Nope. This is the only one. And that's the only reason why the kids were in here. Yeah. That's the only yeah. reason why, because everything else was like rated R or, or something yeah. dour. And or Arctic Dogs serious. is old and abominable. Arctic Dogs wasn't even showing where we were. Oh, well, there you nor, go. Nor was Abominable. This was the only go. kids was movie it. that showed when we went to see it, and it was shit, and the kids hated it. Don't go see this movie. Don't, don't even watch don't, it when you're don't bored. Just don't, just don't. Need, just, don't, like, don't even watch, watch it on Dr. Nickelodeon. Sleep. Watch Dr. Sleep. Yeah, bring your kids to see Dr. Sleep. No, you know what? I can't say that. I, no, I, I you cannot say, say that. I can't say that. What we can say, however, is if you agree with us, if you don't agree with us, if you think we're being stupid, if you don't like what we're saying, just go ahead and drop a comment down below. We want to hear from y'all. Uh, also, drop a like on this video, you know, to help our channel continue to grow. Make sure to hit up hillkaiju.com slash shop so you can get our merch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, anything else? Nope, I'm done. Fuck this movie. We'll yep. Catch you later, deuces.